Hi guys, Lindsay here with Storybook Family Farm. Today is a very exciting day. Today is the day that we officially closed on our house, which also means that there is a massive, massive amount of work to be done. And Tracy, we had to go back to work today. So that leaves me doing a lot of trash cleanup. Um, behind me is the back side of our barn. And that doorway right over there is where the goats will access their pasture that this week I have to get to work on. But first I have a massive trash pile over here that I have to take care of. I've been working for the last like three hours on picking up beer cans and broken bottles. So this is definitely going to take quite some time. I have that trash can over there is about halfway full of just beer cans and I've only done like a 10 square foot area. So this is where the majority of all the trash is at, is back in here, but it's also the only good spot to put the goats. Um, a lot of people think that goats actually want to have nice luscious green pastures with tons and tons of grass, but goats actually really prefer an environment like this behind me. They like hills and woods and brush and shrubs to chew on. They still eat grass, and there's grass further behind me and a nice open area. So the we're planning on having the pasture go clear back in there. Um, for right now, I'll probably end up stopping the fence right before those down trees because I don't have a saw big enough to cut through those to get them out of the way. But the property line goes probably, I don't know, 50 feet, 75 feet, something like that, past those down trees. So everything that we're doing right now is basically with an eye towards the future of future expansion and basically setting up temporary paddocks and pastures and stuff for what is the bare minimum for what we need right now to be able to move the animals out here. Um, for those of you that don't know, we've been living in a camper, me, Tracy, and our 15 and a half year old son for the last like 11 and a half months. So even though this place needs a tremendous amount of work, we really just want to get out of the camper. So we're pretty much spending, going to be spending every waking moment working on getting this ready to be able to move the animals in. The house needs a ton of work, but the majority of it is just cosmetic. Like it is ugly as sin in there. Um, and it hasn't been lived in in over a year, so it smells very musty. Um, it smells kind of like a really old house that's been sitting for a while, because that's exactly what it is. Um, we love the charm of old houses and the unevenness of the floors and all of that stuff. Um, so structurally, everything in the house is in good shape, but the house will, at some point in the future, need a new roof. Um, but that's not anything that's going to need to be taken care of this week or next week or anything like that like that's something that can probably wait till closer to the fall um so we got some time on that but the biggest thing is there is just so much trash back here like the trash pile it probably I, I think that part of it is dirt and on camera it looks tiny but it actually is about four foot tall and it spans quite a distance over my shoulder. Um, so my plan today is to try to get as much of the glass up and as much of the uh, beer cans. And there's also a bunch of like soup, soup cans and stuff like that in there. So my plan for today is to pull out the glass and the metal because on my way back to the camper, I'm going to stop at the recycling place and drop all that stuff off we don't want to just throw all this stuff away when it could still be recycled and then it makes it so that way it's a lot less that we have to um, just make into another pile until we get trash service here. So the house doesn't really have any trash in it, which is a huge relief because we, we've been looking at houses for quite some time and it seemed like everything that was, you know, decent in terms of price per and the amount of land and stuff like that. Um, was taken up by hoarders for a very, very long time. So the house would be, it would have more trash than this trash pile just all inside. So we'd be spending, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks of just emptying the house to then remodel it. So thankfully here, that's not the case. 
thankfully here, all we really have to do is just make it look nice. Um, so yeah, our goal plan, game plan for right now is to get the trash out, get it moved and make fenced in areas for the goats and for the chickens. The rabbits are really easy to move because they're all in cages. So you just got to make sure you got some extra people with you to help carry the cages um, and load them up on a trailer. The rabbits were the easiest thing for us to move when we moved before. Um, the chickens won't be too bad, but the, the goats are the ones that are going to need the most most extensive stuff, most extensive setup in here because um, they're the biggest and the pickiest. But with the weather forecast right now for this week, um, I have today and tomorrow it's not supposed to rain. And then over the course of the next two weeks, there's only like, I think like four days that it's not calling for rain. So this video is getting cut short because I have a lot to do and I can't do any of this stuff while it's raining because I don't want to get drenched. So once it begins the raining weather, then I will show you guys a little bit of the inside of the house because then I'll be stuck doing stuff inside. All right. Thanks for joining me, guys. Have a good one.